we're going to run through the basics of maintenance on a solenoid valve which can be used on any application or greens, tees, football pitches, anything that requires a solenoid valve and what you should be looking at going forward and making sure you get the best out of it for a long period of time. First thing you need to check, turn off the valve from the main side. Stops any water coming through once we start taking the valve apart. And then we'll remove the solenoid, which will then release any pressure that is in there, so just be careful. Very nice and clear around the solenoid. Pull that to one side. Put the screwdriver and loosen off evenly all of the screws around the solenoid valve. Once you've, done, once you've undone all the screws, then just remove the top, be careful of the spring, and place the one side. Then you can pull out the spring, and remove the diaphragm. This is particularly what you want to take a look at to make sure there's no cuts or abrasions, and it's clear of any debris. Which this one looks pretty good, a little bit of grime on top. We can give them a clean off. This is a perishable item, so it is the first bit that will probably go on a solenoid valve, but can easily be replaced uh, by any manufacturing product. Now it's a good idea just to check the plastic around the seat and area, just to make sure there's no sharps or any debris on there, which can then affect the valve. And put the water in it, and then we can put it back together. Put the diaphragm back on, make sure it sits fully where it should be. Pop the spring back on, and then the body. And once We've got all the screws back in and it's nice and tightly screwed up. We'll put the solenoid valve back on. Once it's back on, then we can open the valve and pressurise again. Once we're back up to pressure, we can give it a quick manual test and turn it on. Thank you.